channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom of muscle. And before we get into today's video, I just want to thank you guys all for sticking around. I apologize for being absent here on my channel. Not only have we been dealing with all the things in the world today, but I also had um, a little bit of a scare with my daughter and some health issues that I had to tend to over the past few weeks. So um, I, I apologize for not being here, but the great news is she's doing great and well. And I figured, you know what, let's get back into creating content for you guys. So thank you again for so much for sticking around. And for today's video, it is Saturday. It is casual Saturday. I'm wearing sweatpants and a messy bun, no makeup. And I was thinking it would be such a fun thing to show you guys a couple ways to decorate an accent table or an entry table or a sideboard. You know, styling is can be very difficult for a lot of people. And honestly, it was something I struggled with for a very long time. And then I just started doing more and more and more of it. And I've also have just accumulated so many different little elements between coffee table books, bowls, natural elements, marble pieces. So I have kind of accumulated stuff and that has made me branch outside the box when it comes to decorating a sideboard or a entry table. So I'm gonna show you guys three different options when it comes to styling a entry table. So I've cleared everything off of this table. This table is actually not something I'm planning on keeping. I'm looking for something a little bit larger, but let's get started with the first look. So this is a 48 inch table here in my entryway and I've paired it with a 48 inch round mirror. If you guys want links to this stuff, I can absolutely link them below in my description box, but let's get started with the first styling. Starting with coffee table books, you guys, I get most all of my coffee table books from Home Goods. I'm always on the hunt for coffee table books. I think they can make so much of a difference when it comes to styling. And what I look for is the um, binds on them, what they look like. I look for sometimes neutral, sometimes black, because if you guys are new to my channel, my style is Modern Farm and the color palette in my home is a black white um, dominance with natural wood and green elements. So those are the colors that I have throughout my home. And so when I'm looking for coffee table books, I try to have the binds of those reflect my style. So I picked up these from Home Goods, like I said, Elements of Style, Down to Earth, just really good, like very aesthetically pleasing books. So starting with your coffee table books, you want to do things in threes. So you can either part your accent table by having um, items on one side and the other, or you can do it where there's items all the way across, but kind of in sections of threes, if that makes sense. So starting with your books, I'm gonna put those on the left-hand side, okay? So that's my first thing, and I'm gonna bring in another taller element. I picked this piece up from Home Goods as well. It is a solid, I don't know if this is marble or a white stone of some sort. I picked it up for $24.99, but I thought that was a really cool kind of abstract piece that I'm going to stack just right on top of the books, giving it not only dimension, but I'm giving it height as well. Um, and you also wanna do things in kind of odd numbers. So ones, threes, fives, etc. cetera. Um, so keep that in mind when you are styling. So moving into the next portion, I am going to, I picked this black bowl up. This is from Target. This is their hearth and home style, just a plain black bowl. So I'm going to put that in the center of my accent table there. And again, as you guys are putting stuff down and kind of rearranging it, you will probably kind of tinker with things as far as spacing and whatnot, but starting with that. And then I have these really cool balls that I'll show you guys. So I picked these balls up from Pier 1, and if you guys are unaware, Pier 1 is going out of business. So now is the time to shop for kind of different accent pieces or decor pieces or furniture now is the time to buy it because like i said they are going out of business so i have my bowl in the center and i'm just going to i have five of these i'm going to put them in my bowl so there's that so i have my bowl with my ball my orb balls in there my coffee table books with the kind of structure on top so the last piece of this element is I'm bringing in something tall and I'm bringing something in green. So here is my last element. This is a really cool terracotta vase that I got off of Wayfair. I spray painted the top of this black because it did come up to a really red color and I don't have red in my home. 
but I liked that this was more of like a neutral color. And like I said, I just taped off the top where it was like super red and just spray painted it black to go with my theme. Inside, I have a mixture of faux eucalyptus and real dry eucalyptus. So I usually will pick up fresh greenery in my home um, all the time because I think it's a really simple way to make the home feel very homey um, and it's super inexpensive. So I have, again, super inexpensive faux eucalyptus mixed with real dry eucalyptus. And this is going to be the last element of my entry table. So as you guys can see, I have different texture, I have different elements, and I have different heights, which are great. So it kind of goes high, low, high. And I just loved this kind of um, idea that I put together. Playing off of my natural elements as far as my, my color scheme of my black, white, pulling in my green, but also having some other different decor pieces in there. This is the first look. the second look for styling an accent table this next look is very neutral so I am playing off of whites and creams with a little bit of green for dimension and texture but this is what the next look is going to look like so starting with your coffee table books going one by one so I absolutely love this book this is the architectural digest you can get this at home goods you can get this at Amazon uh, dot com. This is such a great book because it is so neutral. The texture of it is a canvas and it is a cream color. So very, very neutral. Love the bind. Very simplistic. So I'm going to start with this guy right here in the center of my accent table. Pulling in just a couple more coffee table books. Again, these are all books that you can get from either Amazon or Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Just keep your eyes out because they're constantly restocking coffee table books. So then bringing in Home Body by Joanna Gaines. Again, I just really love that the spine is neutral on this. And then Down to Earth, a kind of laid back interiors for modern living, but I loved that the spine is just gray with white lettering. So going to just stack these on top of one another. Again, just getting it a very neutral look. So you have cream, white, and gray just right there in the center. The next element that I'm bringing in is a paper mache bowl. How cool is this? So this looks stone, but it is actually made out of paper mache. It is a very natural cream look. So I was going to add this on the other side of my table and then bringing in white vase. This was $20 at Home Goods. I just liked that it was um, had some texture to it. It's kind of an ombre effect where it's white to gray, but again, very, very neutral, kind of terracotta style, which I'm gonna put over here. I'm gonna add some greens to this. So here are my greens. I did talk about this in an Amazon favorite. These are from Amazon. So I picked up two packs of these. These come in a pack of 10 and I doubled up. So this is, I believe 20 sticks of them. Here's an individual so you can see what they look like with little olives on them, but I am just going to pull this through to add not only a little bit of color, but dimension as well. So I'm going to pop this in the vase. And by also doing so, it's going to add just a little bit of height as well. Two other elements that I'm going to be pulling in. This is just a home diffuser, cream sticks, very, very neutral um, packaging with this. And then I'm also just going to bring in a raw geode crystal that I also found from Home Goods. Again, playing off of the natural, very neutral color palette here. So again, if you guys take into consideration the, the numbers, again, three, one, three odd numbers are going to make the aesthetics look better. I don't know why that is, but it is. It's just, it's a weird kind of rule of thumb when you are styling not only accent tables, but shelving as well. So make sure odd numbers when you are doing your style. My very last element that I'm going to be adding to this accent table, this was also in my Amazon favorites. If you guys want these, um, again, I'm going to link everything down below for you, but this is just a jewelry box that I actually got off of Amazon. It is glass with gold trim. You could use this for, for really anything you want, and I lined the inside of it with selenite sticks. Selenites are a stone, but help with good energy. So I'm all about crystals and geodes, and that is like me to a T. So I'm gonna just add this 
right on top of our coffee table books. And there you guys have it, look number two. So the last and final look, look number three, is definitely going to be more of a chic look. What I mean by that is a little bit more of like a designer look, a little bit more kind of glam if you want to say. So starting with coffee table books. My ultimate favorite coffee table books, it is a staple piece if you are wanting to get a coffee table book and that is the Tom Ford book. This is a an iconic coffee table book if you guys are looking for one. I know it is kind of pricey, so if you aren't wanting to buy the actual book itself, believe it or not, but Etsy actually makes like faux Tom Ford books and faux designer books. So be on the lookout for that. So starting with my Tom Ford book, I'm going to put it on the right side. The next two designer books are my Louis Vuitton coffee table book and my Chanel book. These were both found at Home Goods. So again, keep your eye open, guys. Home Goods has a lot of this stuff. So just stacking those on top of one another. That is going to be this. And then bringing in the next element. You guys will know what these are. These are my wings that are behind me when I do my intros. This is something that I actually found at Z Gallery. I think it was last year when we were starting to move into this house. I saw these and for whatever reason, I was just super drawn to them. They're just super beautiful. I just, I love them. So I picked these up. I'm not sure if you can get them still, but if they are, I'll make sure to link them. And I'm going to do it on the left side. All right, the next element that I'm bringing in is this really cool vase. I got this also from Home Goods. I purchased this for $14.99. Very, very heavy, stared, like solid piece. It is white with black lining, obviously totally my style. So I'm gonna set that just right on top of those coffee table books. And then I'm going to add in, of course, my greenery. So this is a mixture of two different faux plants that I got on Amazon. The olive branches, again, are coming into this. And then I also am pairing them with this eucalyptus um, faux kind of bundle that I got from Amazon as well. The leaves are more of like a leathery texture. They actually look very, very realistic. So I'm pleased with these. And I'm just gonna put those together to add just a hair bit more dimension and fullness um, for this particular vase. So I'm just gonna stick it right in the top of this. And then the last couple elements. So next element is a marble tray. I got this on Amazon as well. It is by a company called Creative Co-op. They make such really cool pieces if you guys are ever on the market for stuff like that. Um, I believe this is eight inches. Uh, you could use this for a variety of different things, but I actually use this to put a candle in. So I will put my Veluspa candle in there. Last two elements, I am putting a sage stick in there. I'm actually going to drape some solid beads. So these are a black, I don't even know what the beads are or what type of stone this is, but I also got these on Amazon. So this is the kind of last element to my design. So I'm just gonna kind of Drape that over. So that is it. I'll kind of do just like a close up of that. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you guys like videos like this of styling and whatnot. Obviously, if you guys are new to my channel, I love home decor. I love shopping. I love decorating my home. I love taking pride in my home. And I thought this would be a really fun idea just to show you guys. You can get creative. These are pieces that I own already that I just have mixed matched and and figuring what goes and what doesn't go. So I hope you guys get some inspo from this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And as always, I love you guys, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.